Good morning, friends. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. This is such a highly requested video and I'm so excited to be finally filming it. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that uh, since quarantine life, I have gone um, more plant-based, not vegan entirely. I still eat meat, but very, very rarely. So I'm gonna be sharing a lot of um, kind of snack and meal ID ideas for a plant-based lifestyle. So uh, the first thing that I do upon waking is I take my probiotics on an empty stomach, and it's that big white jug that you see on my counter behind me. And then right after that, um, I make myself either fresh celery juice, which I was doing for a while, but over the last couple of weeks, I've switched to hot lemon water. So this is just hot water with um, half a lemon squeezed in it. And either the celery juice or the hot lemon water both support the cleansing process. They both support the digestive system. It's just a great way for me to kind of start my morning and um, aid in the body's ability to cleanse the body. Because overnight we're, you know, we're not eating, we're fasting essentially. And so our body's kind of in this cleanse state. So I'm, I wake up and kind of help support that state. Um, I just switched to the lemon water because it's faster. We have a little hot water dispenser here, so I don't even have to boil or heat up water. I just pour it from that and squeeze a lemon and I'm good to go. Um, I do want to thank Vera Shop for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Vera Shop, I just discovered them over Quarantine Life. It's a website that has women's fashion, men's apparel, kids apparel, uh, home, cookware, beauty. So I have a couple of uh, kitchen essentials that I discovered on Vera Shop that I'm going to be using in today's video and I want to thank them for sponsoring it. All right, so I'm going to enjoy this water and then I will go straight to making my coffee, which is I'm so excited to share with you guys. You have probably heard me talk about it already if you are someone that catches all my videos and all my Instagram stories, but if you haven't, you're in for a treat. Okay, so time to make my coffee. This is my favorite part of the morning. Um, and this is my coffee. So I have been drinking bio coffee for a few months now. And bio coffee is basically caffeine free. So I have somehow kicked the caffeine habit. and um, But I don't miss it. I really don't miss it. I felt like I was just drinking coffee for the ritual of drinking coffee. But I didn't really feel um, a you know energy boost from it. And I did a test, replaced it with this. And I feel so good. And I don't even miss the caffeine. So so this tastes really great, but it has wheatgrass in it. It also has um, uh, things like chlorophyll, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. So this is a great um, like replacement to have of coffee because it actually does help the digestive system too. It has fiber in it. And I think it has, what does it have? So it has six grams of fiber in every cup. It also has a pre and probiotic and it tastes so good. So I just do one packet of this in my coffee or one packet in a mug. And then I'll do one scoop of collagen creamer. Now, this is not uh, vegan, uh, so this is not plant-based, but I have this. It has, um, how much protein does it have? 10 grams of protein. It has um, 10 grams of collagen peptides. So I'll do, oh, sorry, we're not in focus there. I'll do one scoop of this, just one, not two. I think the serving size is two, but I'll do one. I'll do this, add hot water, mix it up, and it is so good. So I blend it with this little fun handheld uh, milk frother. And it blends it up so easy and smoothly. You don't get any like chunks in the coffee at all. And this is what it looks like, you guys. This is so good. I look forward to this. It tastes so good. Oh, it's so, so yummy. It's a great replacement for coffee. If you find yourself drinking tons of coffee every day and you're worried about your caffeine intake, give this a try. I'll have this link down below. So after I finish my coffee, I'll get ready for my workout. And I'll either go run or I'll hop on my Peloton bike and do a workout here at home. And then after I do that is usually when I have my first meal. And Brooklyn is actually prepping our first meal right now. Bricklin is making us um, vegan banana cinnamon pancakes. I'm actually going to have the, uh, I have a video that I did the recipe on that linked down below. So I'll share that, but that's what we're going to have this morning. So I will eat this after my workout. It is so, so yummy and so filling and a hundred percent vegan. So Bricky is putting all the ingredients to make our batter. We have banana, cinnamon, oat milk, uh, oats. What else do we have, baby doll? We have, did you say almond milk? Uh, well, we have oat milk today, but oh. sometimes we use almond milk, yeah. And we have cinnamon and baking. Oh, and baking soda. That's right, baking soda. Oh, yeah, and a little lime. We like to squeeze a little lime juice in it, too. Mm -hmm. So she's going to make the batter, she's going to mix it up, and then we're going to cook these pancakes. And these are great uh, leftover in the fridge, so I'm actually not going to eat these right now. I'm going to do my workout, and then I will eat them after I work out. Brooklyn, Brooklyn is a great cook, great little chef. I think, that's enough. I think so. I think maybe we need a little more oat milk in it. 
Yeah. Just a little bit. That's enough oats, though. I wouldn't put any more oats. Yeah, there's really a little bit of oats left. Well, Brooklyn doesn't need to measure. I need to measure everything, but she just eyeballs it. That's good, baby doll. Ready, go. There we go. Make that nice batter. Okay, Brooklyn's going to be helping me today. She's going to be cooking our pancakes. So what you doing, babe? So first... You guys speak up, my love. So first, I want to turn the pan... We want it to be on like a low to medium heat, right? Mm-hmm. And then I like to spray it with coconut oil. Spray a little coconut oil on, yes. And Brooklyn, what's our cooking safety rule always? Keep your hair up. Keep your hair up, yes. Brooklyn has a lot of hair, so we always have to keep it up when she cooks. And then this is the batter. batter. So we're going to pour it in, make little pancakes. So she, Brooklyn is using the green pan from Vera Shop. That's all right. We'll let it cook. So Brooklyn is using the green pan from Vera Shop, and um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the, these pans. So these pans are a ceramic, non-stick um, coated pan, so they have a coating on it that helps protect your food from toxins. They heat up so quick. They actually work best on like low to medium um, temperatures, so I try, when I cook with them, I try not to have above a medium um, temperature. They clean so easy, though. I love them. I have really loved cooking with these. I really needed to step up my um, pan <laughs> game because I had some pans that needed to go a long time ago. So I got this set. This is the green pan at 10 inch and 12 inch. This is the 12 inch one. And then this is the 10 inch version here. But they're beautiful. And it's funny because Paul is like the researcher of all things. Like before he makes any purchase, he researched the heck out of it. And I didn't realize that he had ordered a green pan at the same time that I was working with Vera Shop and I was selecting these. So I got it in the mail and I thought, who got this? And he's like, oh, I, or I ordered it. I did a lot of research. So it's funny. So now we have three green pans. But all right, next, what do you do now, baby doll? Now... When it's done, you want to flip it, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's done. we got to wait till it bubbles up. So I'm going to leave a link to how to actually cook these, the ingredients, the recipe, down in the description box below. But we're going to go ahead and cook all of this batter up. Brooklyn's going to help. And we're going to eat us some breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, it's really good with blueberries and syrup. Yes, it's very good with blueberries and syrup. <laughs> Pancakes are done. They are so yummy. I wish you could smell them. These are so good, right, Brooke? Yes. <laughs> What's good about these two is that they they taste good cold, so you can put them in the fridge and eat them later as a snack. So we make the um, the video that I'll link down below with the recipe makes enough for like six pancakes about this size. So you'll have some for leftovers. Um, can I have one? Of course. Mm. So yummy. Can you any? Mm. Good. Yes. So I'm going to work out, and then this will be my first meal of the day after I work out. Okay, so I've worked out. I ate my pancakes. It is time to eat my second meal of the day. It is 1240, so I guess it is actually lunchtime. Um, I'm going to share with you guys what that is. It's kind of been my go-to salad. It's so simple, quick and easy, very filling, tons of flavor, and is super healthy. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the salad. Isn't it so beautiful? So I'm gonna tell you what I have in here. I have chopped spinach and I take everything and chop it really small so it's already in bite sizes and I lay that down. Then I um, put a little row of organic tomatoes. There's actually half an avocado underneath these sprouts. It's hard to see, but I do have half an avocado chopped up in here. And then I have a cucumber as well. And then I top it with sprouts. I top it with everything bagel seasoning. And then I do um, two pretty hearty spoonfuls of hummus there and there. And then I'll just, chop this up mix it together I don't use a dressing because you know I don't need the flavor I've got it in the hummus and the creaminess in the hummus is there and then the creaminess in the avocado is there as well it is so good you guys it's so filling super quick and easy to prepare and you know I mean it's it's kind of as healthy as you can get so I have been really enjoying this salad so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that I'm also gonna prepare a Max he's always right there always there if you've seen any of my cooking videos he's always there <laughs> Um, I'm gonna prepare a snack too because we are gonna go to my in-laws and swim and I uh, I want to have a healthy snack on hand because I know I'll be hungry before we get home so I'll share that with you too okay so this is the snack I've prepared I'm gonna take this uh, with us and we'll eat it later in a few hours all it is is blueberries I chopped up one whole avocado um, since I'm gonna be sharing this I went ahead and made a big large batch usually I'll use half an avocado then I took a whole lime and I squeezed out fresh lime juice and I did I don't know maybe six 
drops of stevia inside, um, or you know, in this little bowl. Mix that together, and then you just pour it over the little fruit salad here. And then I'll put the lid on and I'll kind of shake it up so the lime juice incorporates all throughout the salad. And this will be our snack. It's so yummy, you guys. It's like so refreshing and having that avocado in it makes it substantial. So it's actually filling. I feel like sometimes if you just eat, like especially blueberries, you know, they're delicious and they're great, but they don't really fill you up if you eat them alone. But adding some really healthy fat like that will keep you satisfied. So that's going to be our snack um, in a couple hours. Hey guys, it's dinner time. I'm currently cooking dinner. Tonight we're having veggie enchiladas. So uh, right now I have all the veggies cooking. I'll tell you what I have in here. I have um, onions, garlic, uh, I have red bell peppers, zucchini, and corn. So I'm just going to let this cook for, I don't know, however long it takes for everything to get real soft, especially the zucchini. I did season it with um, garlic powder and ground uh, cumin and salt and then I also prepared some ground beef for the kids and Paul's enchiladas so I'm gonna let this cook I don't know maybe 10 or 15 minutes I'm using the green pan again it was so easy so I actually cooked the meat in it first and then I just rinsed it underneath the water kind of like a high pressure and it cleaned it off really well I didn't even like use soap or anything to clean it it cleaned super quick and easy so I'm gonna let this cook and then I will roll them up in tortillas and uh, bake them in the oven for I don't know about 15 20 minutes Okay, so my veggie enchiladas are done. I wanted to show you guys how they look. They smell amazing. Before I do that though, I forgot to mention, I wanted to share the tortillas that I use because I love these tortillas. They are grain free. They are made out of almond flour. They are by the brand Siete. Um, they're so yummy. This brand makes really great grain free products. They also make tortilla chips that are good that I get. Um, so yeah, the enchiladas are rolled with these. Now let's take a look. So I cooked them in this bakeware set. Um, I purchased this also off of Vera Shop and it actually came with, with two other pieces, these two sets. Um, so when I first put it in, I kept the lid on and I baked it for uh, about, I think it was 15 minutes with no cheese. And then I took the lid off and I put it back in the oven for like five minutes and I just sprinkled a little bit of cheese. I know that looks like a lot, but I think it's just melted and it's mixed with enchilada sauce. I don't know, I don't wanna give up cheese yet. I'm not ready to give up cheese. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and love this. But um, I wanted to share this set with you guys. It's super heavy, really, really good quality. Definitely the best bakeware set that I own. I'm kind of excited. I feel like I got grown up um, cookware here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into these and eat them. And then I have the uh, other enchiladas with meat cooking in the oven now. And I think they're done. Mm. Wow. That is really good. Like you don't, I don't even feel like I'm missing meat in this. I did add a little cheese. Like I said, I'm not ready to give up cheese, but this is so tasty. I just threw this together based on which veggies I had in my fridge. I'll leave the ingredients um, and the recipe down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, what I eat in a day video. This was fun to film. I hope it gave you guys some, some healthy meal ideas when it comes to eating more plant-based. I will have links to the cookware and to Vera Shop in the description box below. So again, I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. As always, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.